I think about 60 to 70 percent of patients have a Chiari incidentally and they have no symptoms and in those cases one would leave things alone. Where patients have progressing or troubling symptoms, surgery is a very reasonable option. Um, it's hard to know how many patients have a Chiari because I only see the ones that are symptomatic and I suspect in my practice probably about a third of patients will end up having some sort of surgery for the Chiari. If a patient has surgery for a Chiari 1 and has just removal of the bone and opening of the lining of the skull, then the results seem to show a 70% of patients improve and that remains the case over a 10 year period. Um, if you remove the actual brain that's herniating the cerebral tonsils, the success rates are near 90 to 95% but the risk is that much higher. So there remain a cohort of patients who do not improve, and that's probably between about five to 10%. Often, surgery stops progression of further symptoms rather than improves what they've already lost.